Oh, something has it. There we go. Fish on. What is this? Oh my, you guys, no way. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another fishing adventure. In today's episode of Spillways that I found on Google Earth, I am heading to a location that is almost an hour away. I've never been there before, but from the satellite images, it looks very promising. So I'm excited to get out there and hopefully catch some fish. Okay, I have finally made it to the fishing location, but uh, this, this whole spillway series, these, uh, these fishing spots have progressively gotten further away. So this location was almost an hour away. It's actually looking very promising. So I'm excited to get started and hopefully catch some fish. Moment of truth. Was the hour drive worth it? <laughs> okay guys, this is looking a lot better than what I expected. There is a bunch of standing water right here. I don't know how deep it is, but it looks like it could be a few feet deep, which is very exciting. I'm gonna start by using one of my light rods, rig it up with a lure, and see if I can catch any fish out of here. Here we go, first cast. It's actually surprisingly deep in this little spillway, so I'm gonna toss out one of my catfishing rods because there could be some pretty nice sized fish living in here. All right, so I brought a secret weapon today. Well, I brought a few secret weapons. I, br I brought some worms, I brought some corn, I have some baby Asian carp, and the new thing that I'm really excited to try out are these Gulp Alive minnows. I've never used these before. I bought the two and a half inch version, and then I also brought the one inch version. So I think I'm gonna try out the one inch version on my ultralight first, and then I may try out the two and a half inch if these don't work out. Let's see if I can catch some fish. All right, let's try the two and a half inch version. This is actually a very, deep spillway. It is longer than this rod at least, and this rod is about six feet long. I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh, you guys. There is a beaver in the water over there. Okay. Fishing has not been going great so far. I just rigged up one of my light rods with some worms. I'm gonna toss this out, fish it on the bottom, and hopefully uh, turn this day around. I've been fishing for almost an hour and I have not had a single bite, which is incredibly disappointing. So I'm gonna do a little exploring down this creek because the creek also looks very fishy. Hopefully I'll be able to locate where some of these fish are hanging out and possibly catch one. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, so far this spillway is not working out at all. There we go, fish on. Yes! Oh, that's actually a pretty decent bluegill. Oh my gosh, finally caught a fish, you guys. Nice little bluegill using that little gulp alive minnow. See you later, buddy. It has taken quite some time, but I was finally able to catch my first fish of the day, that little bluegill, but I will take it because fishing is, uh, it's incredibly slow. All right, guys, let's see if I can catch some more fish out of this tiny little creek. Something has it. There we go, fish on. What is this? Oh my, you guys, no way. No way, are you serious? You guys, I just caught a large mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot believe this guy was just living in that creek. See you later, buddy. I cannot believe I just caught that bass out of this tiny little creek. It's only about a foot deep. If he's living in there, there's no telling what else I can catch. So I'm gonna get back to it. Like I've said, this creek is not deep at all, but it looks like there may be a relatively deep spot on the opposite side of the bank where I'm at. That's where I caught those two fish. So I'm gonna cast back over there and see if there's anything else. Oh, something has it. There we go, fish on. What do we got? Oh, it's another bass. Yes. 
That is so cool. See you later, buddy. All right, guys, I'm gonna work my way down this creek a little bit to try to find some more deep pockets. The rig I'm fishing with is simple and very effective. I have this little gulp alive minnow suspended about six inches beneath a float, and I'm just jigging that along the surface, and whenever I see it go down, I set the hook, and hopefully <laughs> there's a fish on the end of my line, but it is working really well for this little creek. Ooh, something has it. Here we go, guys. Fish on. Oh, it's another bass. Yes. Awesome. See you later, buddy. Well, they did not touch a single worm. That is very surprising, but at least I know that the creek has fish in it. So I'm gonna move downstream, try to find some deeper pockets, maybe catch a decent fish out of the creek because although this spillway looks incredibly promising, I am just not even getting a single bite. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, re-dip this little gulp minnow back in this spicy sauce, give it a little extra scent, toss it back out there. These fish are very lethargic today. I've noticed that if I don't get this bait right in front of their nose, they are not venturing out at all. The challenge is actually kind of fun. Oh no, I just cast into a tree. Okay, I got it back. All right, you guys, I just went to the other side of that little tunnel and it looks like there's a deep pool right here in front of me. So I'm gonna try to sneak up there and toss my bait in without spooking these fish. Here we go. Who's something has it? There we go, guys, fish on. Oh, it's a tiny crappie. <laughs> no way. That is so cool. See you later, buddy. You guys, this is one of the coolest little fishing spots I've ever found. It looks like it's actually dammed off. So this is like a tiny little pond hidden in the woods. Hopefully there's some decent fish in here, but I was not expecting to catch a crappie. That is so cool. All right, here we go. There we go, guys, fish on. All right, finally caught another fish out of this little, uh, this little pond here. Looks like a green sunfish, very cool looking. See you later, buddy. Although that spillway did not work out, I am still glad that I came on this adventure because this little spot right here is one of the coolest little fishing locations that I found in quite some time. There we go, fish on. Looks like another green sunfish. See you later, buddy. The sun has set and I just made it back to the truck, but uh, today was a very interesting day of fishing. I thought I was actually gonna get skunked after not getting a single bite out of that spillway, but in the end, I found two awesome fishing spots. The spillway, although I didn't catch anything, looks like it'll be an incredible fishing location whenever the weather warms up and the creek that the spillway empties into after doing some adventuring led me to one of the coolest little creek fishing spots that I've ever found. So I say today was a huge success. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch the next one. There is a beaver in the water over there. Okay. So I think I'm gonna try out the one inch version on my ultralight first, and then I may try out the two and a half inch if these don't work out. 
All right, let's try the two and a half inch version. The challenge is actually kind of fun. Oh no, I just cast new tree. Okay, I got it back. <laughs> 